Greetings ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kurt and today I will be doing the Clubman Shave. Now as you can see here I already kinda started you know. Um, I just wanted to see how this whole setup's gonna work because I have my camera here, I have a mirror here and this is very inconvenient you know usually people on YouTube they do their shaving in the bathroom and that's the most comfortable place to do it in but I don't have the proper setup, I don't have a tripod, I don't have any of that stuff, and I don't have any place to put a tripod anyway. So, you know, just doing this in my room, a little bit of uh, inconvenience, but I, I just wanted to check out how it works before I started filming, you know. So, let's get started. Merker 33C Classic Razor with the Merker Super uh, Blade in there, the original blade that I got with it first uh, shaving soap I ever used was the Omega. I actually like this a lot more than this Clubman that I'm using right here. Uh, let's see here. Clubman. Now, to give you guys an initial impression about the scent, I thought I, I opened this and I started shaving with it and I expected it to smell a lot like the Clubman classic aftershave lotion because this is a fantastic fragrance but it smells completely different you know what this reminds me of it smells a lot of like Gillette gel deodorant or degree deodorant like ch sort of cheaper deodorants that you could find um, at a supermarket it's still a slightly masculine scent no complaints there but I noticed when I was shaving with this particular um, soap is that when I was shaving by the way I'm using an Omega brush here uh, when I was shaving with the Omega soap I found that it would dry out but when it dried out it would dry out in, in, a, in a way where I would breathe out and there would be soap sort of flying all over the bathroom you know so it dried out to sort of a crispy um, sort of feeling and I feel that's better Whereas this dries out to sort of like a sticky, a very, very sticky sensation. And guys, I'm shaving with the, uh, just doing some container lathering here. I have a bowl here. I don't have a shaving mug yet, but uh, I'm doing a three-pass shave all in the same direction here. Because, uh, you know, that's just the way I like to do it for now, you know, while I'm learning. I don't like to do it across, uh, across the grain or against the grain because... I find that it creates a lot of irritation for now. I might start doing that, but guys, to me, it's a bit unnecessary because I don't like to have a baby, baby smooth shave every single day. I like one day to be very smooth and very, you know, how should I say, presentable, and the other days to be just, you know, a little scruff here and there, you know? Not like a scratchy scruff, but just some minor scruff, and then after two or three days, I could shave and I get a nice proper shave, you know, whereas doing a baby smooth shave every day, it feels like you're just shaving skin off, you know what I'm saying? So, um, without further ado, let's lather this up. Um, lather isn't as good as, like I said, it's very sticky. It's not as good as um, the Omega soap so far. This is the second soap ever that I used. And so far, I'm not extremely impressed, but I'm not extremely disappointed either. I'm just disappointed with... I need to add a bit more water to this brush here. I'm, I'm just disappointed with the scent, you know? There we go, that's a bit better. Okay, good enough. So, let's get to it. Yeah, the fragrance isn't like Clubman Aftershave Lotion, which is a bit of a disappointment, but what can you do? I also purchased this uh, Clubman uh, alum pencil, basically, in case I get any uh, cuts or nicks. 
There we go. This is my trouble spot right here. I sliced this molar birthmark, whatever it is, open. <laughs> the first time I tried a DE razor, I was bleeding all over the place. It was hilarious. And I didn't have any of those... I didn't have any alum or anything to stop the bleeding, so I would just continuously spritz on Florida water, and it burned like hell. Fun times. Another thing I noticed about the soap, it's a bit strange, but like I said, it has uh, just a massively sticky characteristic. I, I try to rinse this out, and look how much soap is still left on it. And I find that it sticks to the blade and underneath the blade as well. Um, and this blade is definitely getting a bit dull because I've been shaving with it. This is the fourth time I'm shaving with it so far. I got some new blades that I bought in sh uh, ShopRite for like $2 for 10 blades. Not a big deal at all. Um, but with the Omega Cream, I feel that it doesn't stick to the blade. It really in rinses out very easily. This is a bit uh, strange. I apologize that I started filming, like, on my final pass here, but, um, like I said, I needed to try out this setup here and see if it works, and next time I'm going to film it all the way from the beginning to the end. See, I'm still making the mistake of looking into the camera as opposed to looking into this mirror I placed here, because in the mirror I could get a very nice perfect shape, whereas looking into the camera is just a bit awkward. Minor irritation, minor ir irritation right there. You hear the noise of the whiskers getting chopped off. Okay, quick rinse because this is, dries up to this sticky mess. Like I said, guys, I don't. I'm not too impressed by the soap. You know, I, I I'll use the rest of the soap that I got here because I just bought it. I'll definitely use the rest, but I'm not too impressed. You know, not too impressed. Probably wouldn't buy it again. You know, not really too sure. Omega uh, shaving soap is a hell of a lot better. Now, I never tried artisan soap, so that's probably on a completely different level as well. That's probably just amazing shaving properties right there. Soon enough, I'll try. I was looking at uh, Razor Rock Son of Zeus. That caught my interest. $10 for a container, but it's artisan, you know. I was also thinking of getting some Parasso. That's obviously a wet shaving classic for many, many years. But I would like to try an artisan soap next, so I could see what I'm comparing, comparing all these soaps against. Because, you know, you know this, is, this is a nice soap, I like this. But I have no experience with anything better, so to speak. You know? So the Clubman is now appearing to be inferior to this Omega. But if I tried some artisan soaps, you know, probably all of these brands would be inferior to the artisan soaps. Fragrance is not bad, actually. Now that I'm shaving and it's getting a bit more uh, close to the finish here, fragrance isn't too bad. Very manly, you know, very masculine. Chicks would dig this. Some minor touch-ups right there. Looking pretty good. Razor's dry again. Running on a soap on my face already anyway, but... 
just finish this up right here. Adam's apple, that's a very dangerous spot. <coughs> Fragrance is a bit overwhelming when I try to hold my breath because it's right next to my nose. Eh, good enough guys, good enough. Got a nice shave, 10 minute video right here. So far, let's rinse this off. Once again, not slick, just sticky, you know. The Omega is a lot more stick and it rinses off a lot easier. This just kind of clings onto the blade, clings onto the skin. Not impressed. Like I said, I'm going to use the rest of this container for sure, but I don't know if I'd buy it again, you know. It's cheap, so, you know, if I'm if I'm running a bit low on cash or if I have no other options, so to speak, sure, I'll use it again, but I'd rather pay a bit more for the Omega. And like I said, once I try the Artisan soaps, it's just going to be probably a no-brainer, you know? Just drop the 20 bucks or 15 bucks on an Artisan soap that'll last you, I don't know, a couple months, and you'll have good shaves every time. No complaints, good scents, good shaves. That's what, we're, well, that's what it's all about. Still scruffy, you know, if I go like this. But like I said, guys, I'm not looking like, I'm not looking for an ultra baby smooth shave here. You know, I like it to be relatively smooth the first day, bit scruff the second. And then by the third day, I could get a nice shave. If I went against the grain and across the grain, I wouldn't have to shave, like, for at least over a week, I'd say. Okay, see, it doesn't want to rinse off too easily. Well, at least my towel will smell a little bit better. That's nice, though. Nice shave regardless. Bit of irritation right here. Minor irritation right there. But that's from the first time actually. It still hasn't healed. From my first ever shave I cut myself there. I cut myself here. And here. And obviously this mole right here. The mole healed up really well. Relatively quickly. Nice, smooth, still sticky though. Just uh, I, I don't like that uh, that texture that it leaves after. I find that the Omega soap definitely feels a lot more dry. Like it dries out the skin a lot more after the shave. It just feels smooth, but it feels dry. This feels smooth and sticky. You hear that, guys? Just like almost like glue. It's ultra sticky right here. Sense okay though. Now, after shave lotion, Clubman. That's the scent I'm looking for. Oh yeah. It's a little splash here. Oh, it burns. Shies. Ah, oh, but this fragrance is so fantastic. This is the most, how should I say, pick me up while still being relaxing fragrance at the same time. You just feel fresh. You just feel clean and you feel ready to go. I also have Florida water and Florida water is more of like a, ah, I feel refreshed, but I'm on a beach, you know, I'm on a beach with some sexy ladies. This is like, you know, I just got out of the barber shop. I might hit up, you know, some sort of a club or something afterwards. Just very mature, very masculine. Oh, that's nice. 
Nice, nice, nice. Whew. Nice shave, guys. That's the Clubman shave for you. I like it. Don't like the soap too much, but this saves the day every time. <laughs> and let this dry out basically what I do after my shaving nowadays is that I just leave the tub open just let it dry for a couple of hours pretty much till the evening when I'm gonna go to sleep or whatever that's when when I feel that it's relatively dry I'll just close it up put it away otherwise it's open you know it has to dry out so you like this Omega soap an Omega soap you get a lot more and it's a harder puck as opposed to this clubman, you just get a you just get a very small amount, and it's very soft and sticky and whatnot. So, what it, what can you do? I'm not gonna dog on the damn thing anymore. <laughs> I gotta clean up now after my shaving. Uh, I also got this. Let's see. I also got this. Thayer's Witch Hazel Lavender Alcohol Free Toner, but uh, I don't know if I'm going to use it now because I just used the Clubman Aftershave Lotion, feeling pretty good, smelling pretty good. I don't want to mix up the fragrances, you know. Adding lavender wouldn't make it too bad, but eh. we'll see, we'll see. I'll probably try this off camera, maybe on a non-shaving day, because that's kind of what I do. Sometimes even without shaving, I enjoy applying aftershave lotions and uh, aftershave balms in general just to keep the skin nourished and cleansed, especially on hot summer days where you're sweating and the sun's drying the skin out. You know, it's nice. Or in the winter as well. It's, you might suffer from very dry skin in the winter. It's nice to keep it refreshed every day, basically. And the fragrance on this is just amazing. You know, I, I think that the younger women... They won't really like this too much because it's an old school classic manly fragrance. Um, just like how some young girls don't like the smell of cigars, you know. Uh, they don't like the smell of, you know, cigars just sitting there. They don't like the uh, smell of cigars being smoked. But it's just a manly classic fresh shave. I don't do it for anybody else. Even though the fragrance does last quite a while. Like on your face, you could pretty much whiff it and detect it. It doesn't really project, so to speak, but if somebody's close to you, they're going to smell it on you for a good four, four to five hours, I'd say. So, you just apply this as a nice, refreshing fragrance. It's just so good, guys. I enjoy it a lot. So, I'm not concerned, you know, a lot of people could say, oh, that's a grandpa smell, that's this, that's this. To me, it's refreshing. To me, it's quality. And it makes me feel uplifted, ready to go, ready to take on the world. And that's what it's all about. Who cares what everybody else thinks? My razor has just been chilling here. So, definitely going to change out the blade. Like I said, this is the fourth or so shave with the uh, Merker Super Blade. But it's time for, for a change, you know. So, look forward to the next shave. Next shave, I'm going to be shaving with uh, Supermarket Special ShopRite Blades. We'll see how those do. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, thanks for enjoying this shave with me, and I'm looking forward to making more of these videos, you know, maybe every other day, maybe three days, you know, every three days, and then I'll, I'll be trying out different products as well. Don't even need to try out this uh, alum yet, didn't really nick myself or cut myself anywhere, so minor irritation here. You can see those spots, guys. Find a razor burn, so to speak, from just the combination of the dull blade that I'm using right now and the stickiness of the Clubman soap. If I used a brand new blade with this Clubman soap, it would have probably gave me a better shave, and I probably be would have been a bit more impressed by it. But overall, you know, I'll try it again with a sharp blade, but just the stickiness. It's just not something I like, you know, I prefer the drying out sensation of the Omega. Catch you guys in the next video.